Hey. 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 Hello, it's Rachel from Little by Little, and today we are cooking up some recipes. Today we're going to make some good recipes that really work for meal prepping. We're going to be doing a chili, and I'm also going to be doing, what I like to do is I like to just cook some grains and some vegetables to just have on hand to mix up into a kind of grain bowl for lunches throughout the week. Whenever you're ready, you just put the grain and the vegetable and that whatever kind of sauce or extra stuff you want and boom, lunch. So I'm gonna be prepping some stuff like that and showing you some examples of food you can have. I'm gonna prep all the ingredients and I'll see you when I'm done. It looks like I'm really crying, but I was just cutting onions and oh my God. Here are the ingredients. In a large pot, saute the onion and the garlic and the olive oil over medium heat until soft and translucent. Season with a pinch of salt. Add in the bell pepper and saute for another five minutes or so until softened. Now add the can of diced tomatoes, broth, and tomato paste. Stir to combine and increase heat. Add the drain and rinsed beans along with the chili powder, cumin, oregano, and salt. Now, I don't have regular chili powder. I just have this, so Godspeed. It'll be a little limey. Simmer the mixture uncovered until thickened, about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so the chili is cooking on the stove and I'm gonna have some of that for lunch. So I'll let you know how it is as soon as it's done. While that's cooking, I am going to um, cook some quinoa on the stove and roast some squash and Brussels sprouts in the oven. Yeah, I got some tomato on my shirt. That's why it's wet. I'm such a mess. Okay, here we go. Here's the chili. Look at how cute. You like my new bowl? I just bought it for myself. Cause it's Christmas, it's the time to buy shit for yourself, right? So I just topped it with some vegan cheese and avocado. It's really hot. Mmm, actually I can kind of taste that lime seasoning and it's really good. Yep, it's chili. I mean, it tastes like chili. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's the greatest chili ever made, but it's pretty damn good. You probably like two more servings left after this cause this is a huge bowl. But you could double it up and feed like six people, at least. Winter, it's very warming, you know, chilly. Why do they call it chilly if it's warm? Like, is it because you're supposed to eat it when you're chilly? But then they don't spell it right. This is very confusing. Someone please advise. Why is chili called chili? We need to know. I'm sorry, y'all. I like forgot I was making a video, but look. Look, 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 look roasting squash and Brussels sprouts. Okay, so like I mentioned at the top of this video, my next recipe is not really a recipe. It's just some ideas on meal prepping lunches for the week. So as you can see, I made some butternut squash and Brussels sprouts. I roasted them for like 30 minutes at 450 degrees in the oven, just to mix them with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Really simple. And I made a bunch of quinoa. I don't know, like a, a cup of dry quinoa, so however much that is. I'll just take a bowl. This bowl is red because, have I mentioned it's vlogmas? Fill it with the grain. Or if you wanna make a salad, then you can fill it with some greens. I hate salad and everything that salads stand for, but that's my own personal opinion. Some people like them, those people are weird, but that's not here nor there. I'm getting off topic. What was I talking about? You take your grain or your green, you put it at the base, and then you take your vegetable, your cooked vegetable that you've prepared, and you put that on top, grain base, vegetables, and sauce. There's nothing wrong with being the kind of person that wants to put ketchup on everything, because I am that kind of person. I'm also the kind of person that puts soy sauce on everything. So you just top it with some soy sauce, or some ketchup, probably not both at the same time. That that's kind of gross. Um, I also love this stuff, this soyaki. This is island soyaki from Trader Joe's. Hot sauce, I have the red one of this too. Focus, also salsa. 
You can just buy pre-made sauces. They're not that expensive. They're pretty good. Definitely better than anything I could probably make. Usually I take some tahini and lemon juice and and then drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Do you know what all these hand motions are supposed to be? Now, I do occasionally like to add a protein. Um, obviously my go-to is tofu, if you just lightly fry tofu in, on olive oil. You can pre-make that, but you also can just do it like in like five minutes, you know. Um, also, Trader Joe's, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, they sell these fantastic pre-seasoned tofus, like there's a spicy sriracha one, and there's like a teriyaki one. Those are really good for just like quick proteins to throw in your bowl. If you rinse some beans and add some spices with some beans, seeds, and of course, a vegan's best friend, nutritional yeast. So yeah, that's my, my recipe for make ahead lunch, is just make ahead, um, things that are gonna take a long time. So like grains take a long time, roasting vegetables takes a long time, and then have all of these kind of ingredients on hand and ready to go for when you're hungry. Then assembly takes no time at all and your meals are like throughout the week, you know? So that's some meal prep ideas. I hope you liked it. That chili was really good. I'm like super full, but like not uncomfortably full, which is weird for me because I'm usually always uncomfortably full or starving. I'm one of those two states of being almost constantly. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys tomorrow. Huh, my hair looks so good today. I just, I'm just staring at myself like, oh, I'm sexy. Okay, I'm done, I'm going, I'm, I'm leaving, all right? Okay, bye.